Hey guys, Andy Quinch here. We're back with episode six of Shameless. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the reactions. I sort of got to jump into it. So if you enjoyed the reaction, guys, leave a like, subscribe. Check out Patreon for the Alex and Court. Remember, this isn't a market substitute for the original. You can check it out on Netflix or any other streaming platform. It may be available on. And yeah, let's jump into this episode, guys. Take two, one. Fresh teeth. Ah, instantly up. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I've never seen a man move so quick. <laughs> so, tonight... Mate, you go, to go you've, got, you've got to go through hell to get the benefits. <laughs> Keep laughing, and I will slit your throat while you sleep. The thing is, I don't doubt that either. I'm coming! Like... I don't doubt that. <laughs> she gives me those vibes. Lauren, Debbie. Hundred dollar bill we cannot afford. Do me a favor while I take the kids to school. Grow a pair. Ooh. On, Fair criticism. During SAT season. SAT. College tests. Be tutors. Uh, no. no tapes. <laughs> okay. Go play with your cars. Oh, hey, I got another. I like how I made lip like quite, like, he's quite smart. I like that. Very smart. Wednesday, Carl. Wait, 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 what do you do? Why did you take hey, a bat? Stays here. <laughs> well, at least they're waiting for the kids to leave. Who forgot what? Frank forgot to pay. Get What's Frank done? You should dead mean you don't know where he lives now. Put the bat down, pick up the phone. And tell him to get us to six grand. Six grand? What, what the fuck is Frank back, done? Or we'll come back and use the bat on you. What the fuck, Frank? What are you done? But I'm tall. <sighs> For God's sake. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the chance we're just gonna have to take. <laughs> I don't mind just accept that. He needs you to show up for him at parents' night to discuss behavioral problems. Oh, fucking hell. We sound like solutions, not problems. Jesus. I'm not surprised. Well, go talk him out of it. They want a parent, a real parent. Oh, I guess you're off the hook then, Frank. <laughs> Worth celebrating. So, hell no, I won't <laughs> go. Cause no one's such a philosopher. I love how he carries his beer still. Drop the bit. Oh no, he's drinking it. I respect that he got through half of that. Frank will show up for Carl. I know you think he won't, but. Deep down, I think Frank is capable of doing the right thing. Does he even care about his family? I don't think he showed one moment he's cared. I love a woman that knows what she wants. Yeah, I want to be someone else today. How's work? I wonder if everything's ever going to be overbearing for her. She's just going to fight. That's quit. Take lunch. <laughs> I won't blame her. I love that there's a world where people go out to lunch. <laughs> Next. Carl's in trouble at school. Parents' nights tonight, and they want Frank to show up. Oh, what would happen to so I, go I guess Lippany and her are I guess bounced. Mm -hmm. Sounds not once. Who in the hell is raising this degenerate? Come back tonight with a parent, or a call will be placed to a place you don't want me to call. Wow. Please, I just want someone to be there for her, to bear witness to her achievement. If this was about Karen, I would do it. But these nights are not about the kids. They're about the teachers giving themselves a platform for you to worship them, asking you to applaud with gratitude for all the worthless crap they've been teaching your kids, while in reality, they're asking you to validate them for the choice they made to waste their lives as educators. Deep. <laughs> he says things with such passion. From Oregon. From, from Oregon, people wonder why oil prices are so high. Shit it's going to be the guys, isn't it? Oh, See, she you? locks the door. Uh, Quite smart. Oh. It's uh, it's Tommy and. 
you, uh, you play, you need women too. No, I am They're not. They're taking the shoes person. off, that's respectable. <laughs> Oh, they're the ones stealing. I thought maybe you might be giving the food to Ian. I don't know if I wait for the missus to leave. Wait, is he just still right in front of him? What does he pay? With your Pringles. Hmm. Can Mickey be in here and take what he wants? It's the cost of doing business. Oh, is he going to stand up to him? He didn't get paid enough, to be fair. Jesus, cash. Okay. Hey, I didn't think it was that was the way. You steal from a neighbor? Smart men in a stupid world. Hurry before Linda gets back and sees what's missing. I love how I waited for the missus though. <laughs> Shows he's a bit scared, scared of the mum. <laughs> Surely they notice you're always taking the tests. Did not like the same people work at these at these places. Are you taking tests for girls now, Morgan? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to your shit show. I'm an investigator for the educational environment. I was going to say, surely someone would notice. Yeah, I know. Nobody's ever there to see how great I'm doing, and I'm really, really doing great. Distract them. There we go. Promise me you'll come to school for me tonight, and I'll do it. All right, all right. Jesus. Everything's got to be quid pro fucking quo. Go. <coughs> distract, distract. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> He's going to give the pit opportunity. And don't you ever, ever take a test for someone else again, or I will find you and I will beat you senseless. That's his main money source. <laughs> That's. Ugh. Give a boy lip an opportunity. He's a smart lad. That's not what I expected. <laughs> Forget it's America. Lived a lot of years before I met you. <clears throat> Come on. Man, she nailed those balls. Jesus. Oh yeah, forget he's training any left shoulder you got it yep let's go come on she's gonna see frank there as well is the sooner carl is put in prison the safer this world is gonna be more of a making that's giving no point of me easy jesus what? what's that oh summer kidney prostitute your 12 year old i don't care how you get the money but i want six grand in cash by saturday or this ear will be hanging around my neck <sighs> <laughs> Way <of> small, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh fucking cow! <laughs> Nevada managed as a flask. No one arrives. We talking a teacher discount? <laughs> My man! <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! What the hell did you do? Saw an opening. Okay, what's going on? Well, you said you never come to these things, so I thought that you weren't going to come. And so I asked Frank to stand in for my worthless father. Did they expel Carl? That's so funny because he's their worthless father. <laughs> what I tell you, drama and threats, all for naught. <laughs> God, this is going to have such an effect on the kids when they grow up. What What's going to happen to these kids? Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, see ya. What? A... That's so shit. That would make you feel like Call such shit. Serious. The stakes are really real. Remember when I broke Kyle Boozley's leg? It took three pins to put it back together. 
Huh? You can't beat karate when it comes to regulated sanctioned violence for children. Yeah, give him an outlet. We can't give up on Carl, but he definitely needs a help. They should have stepped in. But the, again, um, again, it's difficult because Fiona's not the mum, so it's not her responsibility because she's already got to, she's already got fifty other things to worry about. So I understand why she can't pay the bit of attention. Carl needs that extra attention. A parent should be given, and yeah, hopefully he listens and he, they find some sort of another avenue to get out his emotions. But yeah, it's curious. But this, I'm, I'm curious what sort of long-term effects are going to happen to the kids as times. the show goes on. I was going to call you. I'm going to get like a six on this test. You get at least a couple hundred for spelling your name correctly. Shit! Wait, 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 wait! I, I can fix this. All right. I won't be a play ball in college. Fuck you! Go straight to the pro. Surely upstairs is the bad place to go. You think you'll live if I drop you on your head? I don't. Be careful. Shit. Oh. Get back inside. Back off or I'll throw you out too. Let him go. Oh no. Oh, the, not the bat. <laughs> now, keep your shit straight. I'll pull him in. Hey, now, come on. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> Carl with the bat. I was just joking. Okay? Okay? For God's sake. Oh. Ah. Fucking hell, Carl. At least he didn't go for the head. <laughs> it's because the episode was called Killer Car. I'm like, oh, he's not fucking done something, has he? Hey, Carl got some screen time. Oh, I got so worried. <laughs> there because the episode's like Killer Car. I was like, oh no, he's not going to kill someone, is he? Oh, that's cool. Because I don't know with these characters. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, overall, uh, good episode. Another good episode of Shameless. I've, like I say, I think this show's showing like the sort of effect, effects that this is gonna have kid, on the kids in the long run. Um, Carl definitely interesting. Debbie, you can really tell it's starting to affect her. I think um, she just wants to love her father, and like, even if she was just crying, and it's just like she she just wants attention. And then like uh, seeing a dad with the other daughter, that must have been soul crushing, especially for all the kids. Like so it all hit them pretty hard. Very good episode again after Lip. I really like Lip's character. Um, yeah, I like Ian's little storyline as well. So like with the shop, I feel like yeah, uh, they need to. <laughs> curious what they're going to do about this the shoplifting. That's going to be a continue food point. Steve showing up and helping out. Yeah, I like to see sort of explanation as well. But yeah, he won't really show up when the big when she needs him most with all the build up. Like Fiona does love of independence, and I like you just got to think like if one. That, there's a lot for you in there, and I just like, yeah, hopefully Carl listens and yeah, he finds some way helps. So you can't watch all these kids. There's a lot of kids to look after, and with the farm not being there, and living this little perfect life in the other house. Yeah. I wonder if I like, had a realization we like Sheila or not, because he had like, so he looked quite, his face looked quite shocking when he was in the bed there. So yeah. And then, yeah, Karen just wanted the father as well. She has her own problems. There's a lot of periental issues in this show, but it, it makes sense that like, people do go through these things. Um, like, yeah, being rejected by your family is probably one of the worst. Like, um, like even if say one of my family members, like you always say who, obviously, but she, um, they uh, they were like put in the basement and that, that, and that yeah, pretty much like, abused by the parents. And then the worst part is they got rid of them and put them in a foster home. And then those same parents. Um, fostered kids and it's like imagine what that do to your mental state um it's like you've been put in a foster home and then your your parents are then fostering other people's kids like imagine what that would that how much fucked up it is so it's like these situations do happen and it just shows like the sort of last like the problem is with these kids they're all young they're all very young still so i'm like i'm curious how the show's writers will handle the kids when they grow up and i'm curious to see what direction they put them in and I like, to, and we're going to see this in the beginning of the show. I'm very shocked at how uncaring Frank is. Like, I thought maybe Frank might be one of those dads who like actually sort of loves his children. He loves his children. He's just a bit of a shit dad. But it feels like he's got no love. I've not seen any parental love from the guy at all. 
Like even Fiona just wanting a pat on the back saying you're doing a good job, Fiona, back a few episodes ago. She's not even getting that off Frank. It's like Frank's a real horrible person. <laughs> like I said, I'm curious to see where to take his character, but yeah. Not surprising. I just thought maybe a bit maybe there was a bit where deep down he really does care about his kids, but at the moment I've not seen any of that. So like yeah. But I do love that watching the show. I think like it's just such a unique family. It's not something you'd see on TV. And it doesn't hold back either. I feel like a lot of shows hold back, whereas I feel like this one doesn't. And they really they have a vision for the characters and even for the problematic and stuff like that, the show's going through with it. And I actually appreciate that because that's what T V shows. It's like not everything's these perfect families and it's nice to see the talk like one where it's like there's a lot of problems. But yeah, I'm curious to see what the writing of the show is gonna be like as it goes on. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the reaction. Um yeah. Um we put uh, Mia, but I love this show. We're glad you're re watching it with you. Yeah, I'm, I, that's one thing I like when I watch reactions. Is you still get to rewatch the show. I like normally put that point, but yeah. Uh, something I put. Um, something about this show just makes me violently uncomfortable. I it is such a yeah, it's such a unique guest. Well, yeah, guys. So if you enjoyed the action, do